Okay, so we're gonna get our chicken prepped and ready. Um, we're gonna cut the backbone out because I'm gonna end up splitting this chicken into two halves and that's the way we're gonna cook it today. We'll talk a little bit more about the cooker we're using and how we're gonna do it uh, later. But for now, we just wanna get this chicken prepped. Uh, so this is the morning of my cook. I should have put uh, something under this cutting board but we're just gonna have to live with it. Uh, because I'm already starting. Um, so we're gonna cut the backbone out almost like we're gonna spatchcock it, but we are not actually spatchcocking it. I have got And then we can use a sharp knife and sort of dig in there on either side of that keel bone. There we go. And just split that right down the middle. And then you can sort of see the outline of that bone and you can get it out of there pretty easily. Sharp knife is your friend. Be careful, of course, but uh, a sharp knife will really allow you to dig in there. And don't do what I did, get your cutting board stable. I have a rubber mat that I usually put under here and I just forgot, but by, by the time I started I decided not to worry about it. There we go. And now this bone can be pulled out just like that and that really leaves this open to just be split right down the middle it's actually at this point pretty easy so there we go there's our split in half chicken the other thing I'm going to do I don't want these wing tips to burn and I've got a collection of wing tips uh, that I'm building in the freezer for a stock later so I'm gonna put all of these various chicken parts in the freezer and uh, we'll do a chicken stock video sometime there we go alright so now we're gonna transfer our chicken to a rack and a cookie sheet and I'm going to go ahead and take my gloves off and get this stuff out of the way. So here is our chicken in half. glove real fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to dry brine this. Uh, this is something that to me is best to do overnight but in today's case it's probably going to be about eight hours or so which will be better than nothing and by dry brining we just mean we're going to salt it, put it in the fridge uncovered and I like to use these uh, kind of baking racks and cookie sheets that way the air can from the refrigerator can get all around the chicken. This is gonna dry the skin out, help it crisp up so it's not uh, so it's not chewy. Oh and then hopefully it'll end up with bite through skin, which is always better on chicken. And there we go. So we're actually going to put the skin side up in the refrigerator. It'll help uh, that skin to dry even more than if it was skin side down. 
and we will be back later to get these ready for our cook. So we'll bring you back. Okay, our chicken has been in the refrigerator uncovered uh, for about eight hours. Uh, the only thing I've done since I took it out just uh, 10 minutes ago was pat both sides dry really well with a paper towel and I went ahead and seasoned the underside just because I was gloved up and it was easy. So we're going to go ahead and season the opposite side, uh, the, the skin side I should say. Uh, and we're going to use uh, something called It's Incredible from Heaven Made Products. Uh, I really like this, good all-purpose seasoning, and I think it goes great on chicken, so we're going to use that today. But uh, use anything you want, any barbecue rub that you like, or just salt and pepper is fine as well. So we're just going to liberally season the outside, and I am going to sauce both of these. Uh, so we don't have to go overboard here. Um, especially since we're gonna salt um, or sauce both sides or the whole thing. Geez, can't talk today. Uh, but I am gonna go ahead and get the skin side pretty good. I went reasonably light on the flesh side on the other side uh, just because I didn't want to over season. But at the same time, I don't want to miss any places either. So I'm gonna try to get under that wing there that we took the tip off of. Make sure we get the side of that leg real well and then just kind of pat it in and that'll be good. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to hang these in the uh, cook shack. So I've got some hooks here uh, to use to hang in uh, my barrel cookers and they work well uh, in almost anything that you can hang from. So I'm going to go to the underside of the uh, breast here and kind of find that bone that goes down the center there and try to get under that and just get that pointed part of the hook through and there we go. So that's the way our half chicken is going to hang in the cooker. So we're going to do both of them that same way. Find that bone here on the other side too. There we go. All right, so I think we've got these where they'll hang nicely in the cooker. So we will uh, see you out there in just a minute. I do already have the cooker on and I'm preheating it to 350 degrees. Uh, it's pretty cold here, but uh, that cook shack Fast Eddie's PG500 uh, does pretty well heating up. So we'll probably see you in about 15 minutes. Okay, our cooker is up to temperature, or at least almost, it's about 325, I've set it for 350. And you want to go with something over 300 with chicken in order to crisp up the skin. So, we're just going to hang our half chickens in there. And I might come in and switch these around to time or two but generally I'm going to leave them alone and I'm not going to put in a, a temperature probe that just sits in there I'm just going to monitor them and bring out my thermo pen and check them probably after about 45 minutes so we will bring you back anytime we're doing something that you should see um, so we're just going to close the door and let these go by the way I'm uh, smoking today with uh, knotty wood almond pellets that's uh, again kind of my go-to of late so that's what I'm using today so we'll bring you back okay we're about 30 minutes in I'm probably not going to do much to this chicken but I am going to do some potatoes at the same time uh, just some diced up potatoes with some avocado oil and some of that same seasoning the it's incredible so I'm just going to throw these in uh, chickens looking good though uh, coming along colors coming along uh, but we're not going to do anything with it. We're just going to let it go. Uh, I'm sure we're still 45 minutes or so away from uh, from being done at least, maybe an hour. So we will bring you back. Okay, so uh, it's been just over an hour uh, total, 30 minutes since the last time I was in here. We're going to check our temps. Man, they look really pretty. Hope you can see those. Uh, looks like we're at 160, kind of deep in the breast there. 
164 in part of the breast. So that means the uh, thigh and the leg should be a little warmer. 170, one, yeah, so we're probably about 10 minutes away. So I'm gonna get the uh, cutting board and come out here. By the time I get that ready to go, we will uh, get everything inside and we'll meet you in there. Uh, potatoes looking good. So we'll just keep those in and let them go while the chicken's resting. So we will see you inside. Man, those look pretty. Let's look at this other one real quick. So looking great. Juice just running clear and dripping off. So we are gonna get these off. We'll see you in a few. All right, our chicken's in. Been resting about 10 minutes. Just brought the potatoes in too. This video wasn't really about the potatoes, but they turned out great. Just some diced potatoes with some of that same seasoning, some avocado oil, and just put them in the smoker on the 350 that the chicken was cooking. So I think those will be good. So let's break down these chicken halves. Uh, should be able to just, there we go. By the way, I hope you can hear the knife hitting that skin. The skin is nice and crispy. So we've got our two leg quarters there. Absolutely beautiful. We'll try to get our wings off now. A little more difficult, but we can get them. There we go. There's one of our wings. We'll get the other one. Let's get our knife in that joint. And there's one of our wings. And for the breast, I like to cut the breast meat off of the bone. It's hard to get all of it, but you can do pretty well. Here we go. So that is straight up meat right there. We can just, when you cut it like this, you're cutting it against the grain. So it's much more tender instead of just slicing off slices like you might see in a Norman Rockwell Thanksgiving painting. Man, this is tender. And we'll do the same thing to this breast here. I'm gonna be forced to try a little piece of this. Great flavor, tender and juicy. I know there are some people out there that just don't like chicken, but I think there's a, a good amount of people out there who have typically had chicken that was overcooked and just not as juicy as chicken that is cooked to the right temperature and using like a dry brining technique or an injection, something like that. So here's our two halves of our chicken. We're gonna do, do it two different ways. I have got a Carolina barbecue sauce that I made and you can find a video of this on the channel. And we're just gonna dump that on. Then the other sauce that I have is an Alabama white sauce and you can find this sauce and how to make it very easy, very tasty. You can find a video of that as well. And we're just going to drizzle that on. So our family of four will have plenty of chicken here to eat, different types to try. And so our potatoes don't get any more cold. I'm just going to do a quick taste test of each of these. So here's our Eastern Carolina barbecue sauce. Really good. Chicken is crunchy. I love that uh, it's incredible seasoning too. And the sauce is outstanding if I do say so.
Now we'll try a piece of this Alabama white. That sauce is so good on chicken. You've got to try that if you've never done it before. Thanks as usual for uh, tuning in to Buckeye Barbecue. Do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you next time.